I can't say I've made that much progress in the grinding for this game. It just keeps kind of sliding in the background lately. Just been having a hard time getting mood to be flipping some cards against Pegasus, because, quite frankly, this takes way too long, and he usually gives you crap. So, yeah, we're back here, you know, doing some duels, trying to SNA tech him again. You know, just to show that I'm still, you know, got this in the back of my mind, but gosh darn, I'd really like to make some, you know, significant progress and finally get a copy of Megamorph. Or two. Can you please bless me episode? Like that episode of, um, Etrian Odyssey 2 where I got, you know, two brutal t wings in one episode? Because I was farming the previous boss? That would be sweet, thank you. Because getting Brutal Wings is really good in Etrian Odyssey 2, you know, at least early on, since they're worth 30,000 gold pieces, effectively. So it lets you really start setting up your bank. And it's always good to have a big piggy bank in a game like Etrian Odyssey 2 with it being a dungeon crawler. You really want to have those funds, you know, so you can go do what you want to do. Like, you know, you want to go buy some powerful new weapon? Well, you got the money to do it. Now, hopefully Pegasus doesn't drop, you know... Meteor Black Dragon, but we'll see. For now, I need to, like, clear out some room for some fusions. Well, I guess we can, um, do a simple one to start with. And smash whatever this is. Oh, just a Meteor Dragon? That's fine. Ugh. But yeah, I've, I just haven't done as much grinding as I really should in this game. For a while, I know I was able to keep a pace of, like, you know, two or three matches a day, and lately... It just gets put on the back burner, since I'd rather work on some other Let's Plays. Though I suppose it doesn't help, I've been trying to record, like, five videos a day when I'm in the mood to try and work on recordings, you know, trying to push myself to get stuff done. <sighs> Sadly, I can't always maintain that pace, though. Sometimes the videos now are, um, upload for way in the future. Like, I have videos done for next week already, and some of them from, like, the third week of this month already, so some of that stuff's just way out in left field right now. Um, let's see. We'll send you out and blow you up. Like, I need to start finding some of my, um, trap cards so I can start, you know, doing some useful stuff. Like, where are you, trap cards? I know you're in there. Come on. Come on, give me a trap card. Seriously, where are my trap cards? I don't like it when the game denies me my trap cards. Come on, game. If I want to be this deprived of traps, I'd go play the My Little Pony card game again. And I actually do have cards for that. Like, they look like this. This is an actual game. It wasn't that bad in my opinion, but good luck finding anyone to play it with. Unless, you know, you know your local brony group or something. Um, go this route, I guess. It'll be weak, but I don't care if it gets picked off. Um, guess we'll go with, um, the sun. Ooh, we can tie it. I don't want to tie it, though. Tie ain't good enough. Let's blow it up. Yeah, you're taking life point damage, Pegasus. Getting off a successful attack. Hmm. Though I still say one of the worst cards in this game was in base set. Because in this game you can pay an action token, that's what the three hit, three on the side there is for cost, if you can see it. And one of the friends was, oh, you can pay two to play this, so you get to draw a card, but you don't need to do that in order, you know, to do that. Like, you can pay one, someone a friend that's just as weak as that one, then pay one to draw a card if you really want to. So it was completely pointless. Like, why would you make a card that has no useful effect, right? And gosh darn, am I gonna have to get to, like the bottom half of my deck to find one gosh darn trap card? Oh no, I lost another unit. And we finally found a trap card halfway through the deck. That was ridiculous. Go with a somewhat weaker attack, though. Hmm. What we got up here? Oh, Skylander cards. Of course, those are collectible, not an actual card game thing. 
unfortunately. Ooh, I guess it had a bonus on someone? So the only reason I can think you'd do that. Well, I guess I'll, um, play another equip card. Because I can. But come on, game, give me some more traps. I, I need to set off more of those if I want to win. Well, win with the ranking I want. Um, throw it at it. Well, it's just a parrot dragon. Darn. I'm almost tempted to build a deck around Dark Elf, maybe in the 2006 game, but I already did this month's episodes. All of them. Um, and one of them was an FTK deck. Bad taste in my mouth with that one, man. Not very fun. FTK decks just aren't aren't enjoyable for me to pilot. I might have to see if I can do a Manticore version, but I honestly think that would probably wouldn't work in my favor. Because I'd have to put the pieces of Exodia in there. And they'd probably get in the way of certain, um, cards, most definitely. Well, let's, um, soften that thing up. And smash through. Take that, you overgrown peacock. But seriously, I've only found one trap so far. No, two traps, right? Like, dang, they gotta be in here somewhere. Am I just gonna start drawing them all, you know, you know now? I mean, I'd take it. I suppose I could have put her in defense mode and tried to lure the enemy into attacking me, but... I didn't feel like doing it that way. Um, let's see. Set you down. Um, put you in the sun. And let's play Raigeki. After all, we can use magic cards to lower our ranking, so we might as well go for it. Come on, I know you want to attack the... Attack my, um, dancing elf. She's, like, right there. Okay. Um... Yeah, that works. I admit, I, I'd be better off probably just throwing out some weak monsters and taking the hits, though, but... Fusion also helps with the rank, so... I'll go that route. I don't like losing massive amounts of life points, after all. Seriously? I know there's like six traps in this deck. Why am I having such a hard time getting to my pieces? Come on, game. Give me what I need. I deserve it. I deserve to have those traps. And not traps monthly. Save that for, you know, Fred. Ugh. Yeah, I, I've seen that clip quite a few times recently while watching a fact-finding show, because they really like to pull up, you know, clips from cartoons and whatnot. Um, let's see. I guess we can set you. Actually, no, wait. Booyah. Dark Elf. Well, time to send her in. Actually, building a deck around Dark Elf would probably be bad, since I'd have to probably build a deck basically around Skill Drain. And if you're going to go that route, you might as well use, you know, more powerful monsters for it. Because Dark Elf's effect is you have to pay, like, half your life points to use her, um, offensively. Well, I got set here. Oh, that's right. A trap guard. And I can't expect him to pull out, you know, the big guns, so... I guess I'm going to have to drop some weak monster over there to try and lure some attacks out. Regardless of, you know, what they are. Um, yeah. We'll put you out there. Guess I could have given it sun power, but who cares. Fusionist? Man, that card sucks. Why would you ever use Fusionist in the actual card game? I mean, it's a terribly weak fusion. Now, the only reason I think you could play it all might be to use Fusion Weapon, and even then, I still don't know why you'd bother. Well, let's up our attack again. And end turn. Okay. Come on. Show me what you got. Give me... Give me something cool to blow up. Uh, just a dragon. And not even a cool dragon. That was disappointing. Um, let's see. 
I guess we'll kill you off. End turn. I know, I wanna draw two cards and see if we get any more trap cards we can set. And they couldn't even blow up my monster. Well, we'll set that and see if the next monster they play can do it. Oh, it was the same monster I set. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> okay, whatever works for you, man. Um, let's lower the life points here. That way, you know, if it just, the king decides you know, be, give me the big middle finger with a Raigeki, I can hopefully still bounce back. What did he summon? Oh, the chicken! Okay, gotcha. Not my favorite, but okay. Um, we'll blow you up. Goodbye, Mystical Sland. Go in the Dark Witch, then go into Neckle Gal number two. I guess we could have went with your anus, but, you know, might as well just end it with whatever star I feel like. Or planet. Well, we got all the trap cards off, so we should S rank. And we got a completely useless beast type monster. Mmm. And then you wonder why I have a hard time getting in the mood to play this game. I mean, I've got a ton of those things, and they're all useless at this point. Like, this early game, I'd be like, oh, that, that's a useful monster if I got a female monster in hand. I can, I can make some decent fusions with that. I can make some plays. Now I'm like, garbage. Complete and utter garbage. I really should have thrown out that other one. Um, we'll go with Saturn. Let's see, what's he gonna play? No, in my luck, I'm gonna get royally screwed, right? Oh no, I'm fine. Okay. Um. Power up first. Hopefully, he doesn't bounce back with a really powerful monster, but. We'll see. I was worried he'd set, like, Illusionist of the Faceless Mage or whatever, and I just did not want to run into that thing. You have a chance to, you know, mess with me like like Regeki or something. So I was like, I'll hold off. Now, you know, I'll start setting some cards on the field for later. That way, you know, if he pulls off something really big and powerful, I can counter it. You know, in case he can take out my one good monster so far. Well, now, we can, um, do that. that will get off, you know, some cards out of our hand. I somewhat would prefer to keep the Dancing Elves, but at the same time, you know, clearing the hand out, you know, to hopefully draw some more useful power-up cards in would be nice. Because I prefer having, you know, the biggest beater on the field possible. You know, in case the Meteor Bee Dragon comes out. I fear that sucker. And for good reason. It'll just mess you up. Like, I've had matches where that thing pops up and, like, it's hard to pounce back at that point when you see it. You're like, man, you're just... Ugh, this is ugly. Like, how am I supposed to bounce back from this thing? You just gotta, you know, cross your fingers and pray to lay luck, you know? Okay, I guess we can go that route. Actually, no, I don't want to waste that. I can use these to lure our attacks. We'll throw these two away. Well, let's hit this up. Well, it's just a peacock. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen any of the bigger guns yet. Like, where's the Chicken of Doom or the Meteor Black Dragon? Give me something, you know, that actually has some teeth to it. Okay, I guess we'll start setting the magic guards. And it's, it's another weak monster. I mean, not super weak, obviously. It's got some stats to it for this game, but at the same time, you know, like... Where's his better stuff at? I know he has way stronger monsters than what he's been showing. Like, where are they? <sighs> oh. I'll get to that comment in a second. I don't know if I'm entirely fine with YouTube, YouTube you know, constantly sending my um, desktop messages like, You have a comment! At least it doesn't make noise when they pop up, I guess. Um, we'll throw you out. And I guess we'll go with, um, Venus. The goddess of love. 
a tune alligator. It's not even a real tune. Seriously, I know tunes. I might want to mess around with building a tune deck. <laughs> I just don't know how well that would work in the 2006 game, to be honest. Let's see. Guess we can fuse these two. Why is it taking me so long to find most of my traps, though? It's really getting irritating. Another Tomb Gator. And are most of my equip cards in the bottom half, too? That's bad. But at least I can bounce back from that. Okay. Oh, Crawling Dragon? Is that the one that's actually a dragon? Because I know one of the Crawling Dragon cards is actually technically a dinosaur. <laughs> but because it has dragon in the name, it actually works like a dragon card. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but that's just how it works, you know? I'm not going to question it. Well, at least I don't have to hunt down any more equips at this point. So they can have summon something big enough to actually set off my um, widespread ruin. Come on, game. Make my day. I dare you. Fine. I'll play something you can go into then. Come on. A dark rabbit. I guess Pegasus does wield the dark rabbit. You know, and turns it into a tune, which is not how Toon World actually works, but you know, whatever. You know, he, Pegasus can do whatever he wants. He's got the eye, right? Then again, that's still not as crazy as um, one of the episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! where this character like comes out with a whole new summoning method, you know, out of his butt, and it works. I don't even know how that works. How do you discover a summoning method that no one else has ever used or even knows about? Like, where do you even get the cards for that? I'm assuming he's gonna run into it again. Pegasus is just trying so hard. I'm just like, no. Oh, it wasn't even a powerful monster that time. We are the knights that say me. And you don't get to do anything. Um, yeah, we'll throw away the Dark Witch. Feels a bit like a waste, to be honest, but, you know. Sometimes you just gotta clean house. Take whatever um, Pegasus throws at us and bounce back with, you know some weakening spells. Seriously, that's the best you can do. A winged dragon. I think it's not even worth weakening. Take that. Ugh. At least try and do something interesting, Pegasus. This has been one boring match so far. I don't know how much useful counter I can really provide, you know, when the opponent's not even trying. It's like it gave up. Decided to go home. I mean, come on, man. Do something. Try and, you know, awaken my spirit. <sighs> Maybe it's about time I start smashing Pegasus a bit. You know, for the final battle that is to come, alright. Well, do a, a three-way fusion to get down the five cards. Yeah, whatever, no one cares what you're on. And, you know, we'll soften it up. Ooh. It's got star advantage, but no one cares because it's too weak to matter. Well, let's um hit you up here too. Seriously though, where is that chicken at? I expected to see a gosh darn chicken at some point during this fight. I don't mean Pegasus just acting like one. Okay. Another equip card. Well, let's, um, pop him again. I don't know how we lure him into a trap at this point. Ugh. Well, we can do, a. Uh double fusion like so. Get down the two cards. 
Man, Nekogao number one is really expensive in this game, and I don't know why. Like, it must be iconic to some character I can't remember right now, and that's why it's worth, like, the maximum number of star chips. That's what I'm just gonna have to go with, you know. There's, like, some one that used it that was, like, famous on the show. Okay, it's, there we go. It's, like, left or right... Yeah, it's just that one button, huh? Okay, let's end turn. We blew up the monster, you know, try and draw it into stuff. My trap card. Yep. Only, only in the show they always say, like you triggered my trap card, which doesn't make much sense when you think about it because that's not how trap cards work. The player has to choose to activate a trap card. But let's see if we can't get off the la this last trap card, you know, before we have to end the duel. Oh, apparently the game will not oblige us. Oh, well, I can always set more cards face down. Yeah, that's, that's impressively weak. Let's go with a big finish. Do like 5,100 points of damage, you know, just BAM! Like, I got two fusion weapons equipped right now. And we didn't even get enough points, you know, to even qualify, because we did get those trap cards so late. Whatever, you know. Even if I still have our chance to get certain cards, just not the ones I wanted. Just, oh well. Until next time, then. Hopefully, you know, I'll manage to at least get up to like 100 wins against Pegasus by then. Maybe, hopefully, found some some of the stuff we needed. We'll see. Until then, see ya.